I think a new challenger is approaching. Jesse Driftwood! Okay, skip to this time code if you don't want to win $1,500. So, me and Jesse Driftwood are holding an Instagram story competition right now. You just have to make a creative 15 second Instagram story using a song from Epidemic Sound that will be linked in the top of the description below. We will be picking six winners that me and Jesse Driftwood will feature in our Instagram story. And the first place winner is going to win $1,500 and a year subscription to Epidemic Sound. All the rest of the winners will get six months of epidemic sound as well as the Brisbane speaker from Urbanista. Okay, you get it. Great speaker. So if you go to instachallenge.net, you'll see all the rules and prizes for this competition. It's just a 15 second Instagram story to the theme of what have you done during quarantine. And if it's beautifully made, a good story, just creative, you could win $1,500. This is the perfect project to do during these times because we're all stuck inside. Might as well make something beautiful and possibly win a bunch of money. Me, Jesse Driftwood, and Epidemic Sound cannot wait to see what you guys make. Good luck. May this competition possibly pay your rent. <laughs> All right. Time to learn how to do that slice and effect from anime. My inspiration for this tutorial was Corridor Digital's Anime Baseball, which is in my top five favorite YouTube videos of all time. And I recently made an anime video where it was quarantine themed. That video did really well for my channel, and you know I did a lot of anime slice ins. This is getting bad. So we'll start off, I just have my footage organized in Adobe Premiere. Here's the shot of me announcing that a challenger is approaching, and then also Jesse Driftwood doing some over-the-top anime motion. It's essential for these slice-ins that you have a big reaction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open these two clips in Adobe After Effects. So I'm gonna right-click and hit replace with After Effects Composition. Okay, now that we're in After Effects, you just wanna take your reaction shot and pick the best spot where he should slice in, which for me is right here. So what you're gonna do is grab that one shot that you're gonna slice in, put it on top of everything and drag it to where you want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this rectangle tool and just create a mask around this shot like this and you can play with like however you want this to slice in. Like it could look cool where it's like sl slanted or something like that. Now that you have that masked layer on top of your original clip, we need to create the black borders that are on the edges of these slice throughs. And I found the easiest way to do that is come up to your effects panel and type in drop shadow and drag that onto your clip. Now turn your opacity up to 100 and your distance maybe up to like 40. And all you gotta do is change this direction wheel so it's pointing straight down. And then duplicate that drop shadow layer and just spin that wheel to cover the top of it. So now we've used our drop shadow to create those black border bars. Because now, wherever we mask this footage of Jesse, those black bars will always be there because they're a part of that original clip. All right, now that we have our masked clip and the black bars, we just need to animate the slice in animation. So maybe go like half a second after where this clip starts and hit M to drop down your mask menu. And you're gonna hit a mask path position keyframe and go back to the beginning of the clip and then just grab these two endpoints and then drag them across the screen like so. And so it will naturally, bam, that already looks sick. So you got that nice smooth slice in. I like to come down here, select these keyframes, right click and do easy ease. And so the animation just looks a bit smoother. So in a perfect world, you're basically done. But since this is anime, you're never truly done. There's always so much more you can add. So basically the next part is making it as crazy as possible. And how I've done that in my videos and I imagine Corridor Digital is they download all of these external assets to complement the movement and shake of this kind of animation. My favorite, and this is not sponsored, is footagecrate.com. You can see here they have all these fantastical VFX things that you can just drop in your videos. The best part about Footage Crate is all of these assets are free. There's paid versions of everything, but there's just enough usable free content for anime stuff. So I downloaded this orange thunder lightning 
asset that I think is really cool. Go to the beginning frame where that mast slice in starts to come through. Drag your asset to hit both of these borders. Hit P to drop down position and create a keyframe and just go over frame by frame and track these laser beam type effects onto the edges of the slice through. So it looks like the slice through is going so fast, it's creating fire. For, for effects like this that are like external assets, I always set them to screen. And if you come up to your effects panel and type in glow, I always drop a few glow effects on there. I'll turn the glow radius up a little bit just to add some extra like flare. And maybe if we add some motion blur, let's see if that looks good. And now just duplicate that top clip that you animated. Hit A to drop down your anchor point positions and just drag it down to the bottom of the slice in. <laughs> that looks incredible. Now, the next step for me is I actually take the shot that's getting sliced in, so this footage of Jesse. I'll come up to the effects panel and type in curves and I'll drop that curves effect onto that original clip. Come to where the mask ends Hit the keyframe for curves so that this is when everything will go back to normal. But when you start out the clip, drag that color like super bright. So it kind of has this color effect where it comes in really hot, but it like fades out in color. I think it adds this nice flare that complements these fire lines that go through the screen. Next is I like to add smoke and sparks to really sell the impact of all of this. And so once Jesse starts to slice in, just dra drag some kind of mystical thing inside and then just hit T to drop down your opacity and slowly fade out whatever mist you've brought in because it, it, it's too much if you just leave it on there for a while. Wow, that looks incredible. All right, and then the last step for me is I like to add like micro sparks. And they've got tons of spark assets on Footage Crate. Uh, my favorite is the Repulsor Sparks side, which is a free uh, download on that website. Very granular. If you look, it's super small. But as always, I like to add the glow effect just to add, to give these assets some extra oomph. And so just find a good spot to where you can match up your sparks and where the top of the video is coming through. Duplicate that sparks layer and just bring it down to the bottom. And so the sparks will linger after everything's said and done and it's just cool. And bam. And honestly, I think that's it. It's actually an incredibly easy effect to do. It's completely customizable too, depending on what shapes you like or what kind of fiery or electric assets that you find pleasing. I hope you learned something new. And also Alexa, turn my lights on. You have one week after today to make an Instagram story that's 15 seconds long using fantasy from Epidemic Sound. Link in the description below. If you wanna win $1,500 and get a shout out from me and Jesse Driftwood, this is a great opportunity for you to sign up to Epidemic Sound and possibly make some money. I'm super excited to be partnering with Epidemic and Jesse to do this, and so I really hope this gives you guys an opportunity to be creative while you're stuck at home. Like, I could, I could pay my rent with that, so maybe I'll, I'll apply to my own competition. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. Check instachallenge.net. I spent a lot of money to get that URL. <laughs> And you might win $1,500. <laughs>